Hey guys, so today I want to make a very very quick review here of the Optimus L9. Uh, I've been using it now for a few days and I feel that I'm mature now enough to make a quick little review here about it and talking about the bad and the good, the good sides of this device. I already made a video mostly talking about the, the bad things with this device. A video called a LG Optimus L9 White Sucks. So, now the big things here uh, that I quickly want to say about the Optimus L9 is that it's extremely, extremely, extremely affordable, at least in my country, Sweden. It costs around 100 bucks less than a Galaxy S2. Uh, th that's, that's an awesome thing here. And now, one bad thing about it that you might not like is that it's not a 5 megapixel camera. The Galaxy S2 costs 100 bucks less, but it gets a little bit better camera. It gets an 8 megapixel camera that's better than the, uh, the 5 megapixel camera here that you do get. So that, that's one thing that you might be a little bit annoyed by, uh, that the camera ain't as good as the, the Galaxy S2 that came out in 2011, but the price, as I said, extremely, extremely affordable. The battery also is the same as the Galaxy S3's battery. It's 2,100 milliamps, which is providing an amazing battery experience there. Uh, one also one bad thing here or the biggest bad thing about this device is that it's only a four gigabyte smartphone it only has uh, four gigabytes of internal storage that means that you know ma maximum you will have be able to have like two high-end Android games installed at the same time on this device you have the SD card option and that's, that's one of the good things but that is only for taking pictures and you know if you want to transfer some movies to this device or some songs and stuff like that it's it's pretty easy to do that and it's pretty awesome because you have the 32 gigabyte SD card option so that's good but the thing is that you can't most of the games nowadays in Android 4 uh, is that you can't install those games on the SD card some uh, games you can move to the SD card uh, but not most of the hand games you can't do that so it kind of sucks it's a big 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 annoying bad thing with this device uh, one good thing here also is that it has Google Glass 2 on the front side, also same as the Galaxy S2 or I mean the Galaxy S3 and the Galaxy S2 is modern smartphone so it should be very 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 scratch proof and you know against scratches so you should have some awesome protective thing here and also in terms of build quality I think it's, it feels extremely good and um, like nice build quality and all that, could feel a little bit more exclusive here on the back hard case plastic but it still feels extremely extremely nice and uh, yeah so that is that if we go ahead and continue uh, one thing that I also didn't like about the LG Optimus L9 here is that it's only rocking Android 4.1.4 ICS not the latest version of Android 4.1 Jelly Bean right now but it could get that up in the future I'm not sure how LG is working on that uh, but my past experience with LG is that they are extremely slow at updating their smartphones but I've seen that I've been getting a ton of uh, small Android 4.0 ICS updates to my L9 here so LG might be able to improve there on the update side and also this year they of course made the, the Nexus 4 and that they also made the or had the Adolphus G out which is kind of like an awesome smartphone that I might get in the future if they sort of sell it in my country uh, still kind of interesting though uh, also one thing here that I think is so so awesome about the Adolphus L9 compared to the Galaxy S2 not just the price but that you get a little bit bigger screen as well it's a 4.5 inch screen even though I don't like the, the screen technology that much, that's, that's the bad, last bad thing here. But if you only do some um, like easy things like reading, browse the web a little bit, uh, then the, the screen is kind of amazing because it is a little bit bigger, dot two inch uh, bigger uh, than what you would get on the, uh, the Galaxy S2. Uh, and then the IPS LCD display is not as good, uh, it's an uh, IPS LCD display that's the same kind of, LC, you know, the iPhone 5 is also using an LCD display, but that one is an LED backlit one, this is only an um, IPS LCD display, so it, it's not as good, and it's not as good as uh, Samsung's own Super AMOLED colors as uh, on the Galaxy S2, of course, and it doesn't have as much uh, memory as the Galaxy S2, but if you can live without those things, it's kind of affordable device to pick up. And it's also kind of fun to have something that just almost came out. Uh, so, and then you also might like the form factor uh, a little bit more. Uh, 
so that's my quick little video here talking about those things. Uh, if you want to see any more reviews, uh, upcoming reviews here in the future, maybe a smartphone comparison, please go ahead and leave a comment about that down below. And the comments that get the most attention, that is you know, probably the things that I will focus more on in the future. Now you just have an awesome day, and I'll hopefully see you all in the next video. Peace out.